a couple good days of practice, you know, just like I thought they would. They bounced back, and uh, we've actually been in, we did a little walkthrough on Monday, but two practice Tuesday and today, and uh, just, you know, they bounced back. Um, so that's exciting to see. You know, a couple guys got dinged up yesterday, uh, but they were back out here today. Connor um, and uh, Najee. Uh, and then Andre James hasn't practiced for two days. He was out here today, but he, uh, he he got hit in the in the head, and they're you know going through the the concussion protocol to make sure that he's okay. And uh, but he looked good today out here running and doing all those things. And he said he felt really really well. And he finished the game, so you know we'll see. But like always, we'll just be safe with regards to the decision there. So uh, just always exciting to see these guys come back. They're resilient and they want to get better, and they're working hard at it. So. That uh, the running backs have been on kind of dinged up for a while now. What, what's their kind of status right now? You know, uh, Sosa has been fighting a shoulder and a, and a knee, the tendonitis, you know, all year. Um, but he's fought through it and he's working hard. And Bolu, you know, has had some things. Nate, I mean, they all have. That's kind of the nature of the job. And uh, but uh, those three guys are all available. And you know, we'd, we'd like to find an opportunity to get Brandon and. And Jalen the ball, it's just, it's hard, you know. It's its hard to get five running backs the ball. Uh, you saw last week we kind of featured, featured Soso, and he, you know, he ran for 79 yards, I think. You know, you take away the sack yards and you take away the, the, the snap, you know, so that makes your rush yards look bad. But he actually, he ran okay, and I think he's going to get better and better. So, you know, every week you kind of try to figure out who's got the hot hand or who, who kind of fits the scheme that you run, and they all have different styles, and, and get that guy in and get him going. What flavor cheesecake did you bring, Josh? I, you know, I didn't even check the flavor. I think it was like a chocolate, uh, I don't know. It was from, uh, che we went to the Cheesecake Factory. He liked tiramisu, brought up some tiramisu, some cheesecake, and then his two favorite ice creams are chocolate chip mint and cookies and cream. So we had a little smorgasbord over at his house the other night. It was, it was fun, and he and I got to sit and talk for, you know, well over an hour, just the two of us, about, um, you know, his path back to the top, which is where he wants to be. And... Uh, just, I was really impressed with his energy and his uh, his frame of mind. You know, it was encouraging to me, very encouraging to me. And, uh, you know, a lot of times when, when someone gets injured and they miss games uh, and they're not out here competing with their teammates and, the, you know, their friends and the guys they really care about it, it offers a new and fresh perspective on just how lucky they are to play this sport. And uh, I'm not saying that that was necessarily the case, but I sensed a little bit out of, that, out of Josh, you know, and so... I think sometimes that inspires you to take a step to the next level, and, and that would be certainly something that would be great for us. Did you get an idea of kind of what he wants his role to be with the team going forward, at least this, this season? I did, yeah. You know, he asked me if he could be on the sidelines this Saturday, and I would love him to be on the sidelines if it's safe. You know, I might have to sign a couple of the, you know, the, the backup offensive linemen or defensive linemen to stand near him and, you know, just collapse on him if the ball comes close to him. Uh, but I'm going to leave that up to the doctors and the medical team and, and – uh, and the worst thing that we could ever do is, you know, just because he wants to be on the sideline, help him, put him there, and then he gets gets hit. You know, that, that wouldn't be a good thing. But I know that he's desperate to get out here and, and you know, help where he can and be another set of eyes for Mike and, and uh, you know, offer him that support that he's always offered him when he's been on the field. You had him in, on the headset for a few games when he was on the sideline. How helpful is that just to have one extra guy you, watching you, the game? And, and he was him. listening more than talking, listening. and it was good for him. I think it's always good for uh, a player and especially a quarterback to really kind of hear the communication that goes on and the decisions that are made before each play on why you're going to run a play. And then, you know, post play, like, oh, we needed to see the mic there. We needed, you know, the, the, oh, we got the we got the post route, you know, before the snap. We got it, we got it, we got it. And you all see it from the sideline. And maybe the quarterback sees it or maybe it doesn't. So I think it just offers, once again, another perspective for the quarterback. But he really didn't, he didn't, have any input it was just more information gathering for him and I thought it was really helpful so you know anytime we can do that if we can do it the next you know three hopefully four games and we'll do that you talked earlier about going with Molson and Kent what was, is that just kind of recommitting to the guys that you, that you brought here to do a job and now you're just going to let them kind of work through whatever they want? well it's recommitting but it's also you know we kind of backed them off both of them you know it, it's they both came in and and uh they were they were good early and then when school started you know they hit a little bit of a wall and, and it's not unusual for that to happen with freshmen you know we're a quarter school and so uh, 
you know, you get a few games under your belt and then all of a sudden school hits you and just all your responsibilities change. You know, this is a very challenging school. It's a great, obviously a great academic opportunity for them. But, uh, you know, I've seen it before. I, I remember seeing it with Kaimi when he was a freshman too. You know, he went to, kind of through the same thing. We didn't have the luxury with Kaimi of, of kind of just giving him a chance to, to step back and, and regroup. We did this year. And now I think it's time with, you know, three, hopefully four games left to, to let those guys go out and, and, and just play free and get better. And I saw this week, you know, we, we've kicked twice this week. We've punted once, and I saw tremendous improvement. You know, in JJ's kickoffs today, they were great. His extra points and or his field goals, because we really don't kick extra points, but his field goals are, were solid. You know, um, Austin came out here today, and he, was, he looked like we were back in San Bernardino booming him. So I think sometimes it's important for these young guys that are, you know, forget they're 18 years old and they've got a lot on their plate to, to give them some help, and sometimes that help means backing off a little bit. Talk a little bit about your running backs. Oregon State has a pretty dynamic athlete back there. What have you seen on film from Nall? Well, he and Victor both, you know, uh, well, he's big. You know, he's a 235-pound he's a load. He runs hard. Um, and we have tremendous respect for him. And obviously, he's a guy that, you know, you better stop. And you, and, you know, you're not going to arm tackle him. You know, you got to get bodies and multiple bodies on him. And, and, and the best thing you can do with a big guy like that is try to make him balance and not get a, get a, you know, a downhill run. Um, we've, done, we've done a decent job this year, you know, minus in the Utah game against the run. And they hit those, you know, those long ones. So I think that, you know, we know how to play the run. It's just a matter of executing. And then with Bolden, you know, he's just dynamic as a as a kick returner, as a punt returner. Uh, you kind of have to play where's Waldo with him on offense because they use him in so many different spots. So they've got some explosive guys. I know, obviously, you want to win for everybody, but I mean, especially the gutty job that Mike Maple has done stepping in. How nice would it be to get a win to, to reward him for what he's done? It'd be great, you know. And I think a lot of guys feel that towards him. Uh, it's, it's interesting you ask that question because that was kind of my thought today. It's God, you know. Of course we want to win you know our goal is to win our goal is to win and, and get ourselves in position to plan a bowl uh, but to, to you know a guy like Mike who's been here for five years and he's worked so hard and he's done such a great job and he's been such a good teammate and team member and positive influence around here to, to, to give him a chance to you know have a few wins in the win column when people open his record book in a few years would be really great How, what, what's I mean you He's been here as long as you've been here. What's what have you seen as far as his growth and then just maturity and? Well, he you know he came in as a freshman walk on, uh, had had a great deal of maturity. You know you recognized right off the ball or off the bat that he, he could throw the ball, uh, but he was behind Brett Hundley, you know, and, and Jerry, and then we bring in Josh, and so you know I think there's a lot of young men that would have that maybe you know I, as I said earlier you know moved on. You know, he's a graduate. He could have gone somewhere and played his fifth year, uh, but he loves it here, you know, and he's, he's been a great teammate. And I've just seen him develop into a guy that he's playing with a lot of confidence. I think his teammates have a great deal of respect for him because of the way that he has approached his, uh, his opportunities here, you know, and, and hung in there. So, you know, I'm excited about him, and I want to see him go out there and, and play well and us play well around him and, and get a win. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody.